Yesterday I realized something. My entire life I used to think I was horribly antisocial and agoraphobic. That is, I can't stand to be around other people and so I prefer to stay at home by myself all the time and read. I understood also that people are social animals and so you need to constantly interact with others in one way or the other. But at the same time, I'm used to perceiving myself as something of a special case, a kind of a modern-day Diogenes. I have now realized two things about myself. First, that this doesn't make me in any way special. Not only that, but it's also actually detrimental. And second, it isn't actually true in the first place. I'm not one who can live without others. I'm not terrified or disgusted by interactions with other people. I am, in fact, not antisocial. I like people, and I like talking to them and being with them. I actually need to be with people like every other human being. So what was it that wrongly led me to believe I was a natural loner? I realized it was fucking social media. During my usual daily routine, I spend like 95% of my time at home by myself, either working on my day job or doing my other activities, reading, writing, painting by myself, all the time. When I put it like that, it sounds horrible, doesn't it? Spending this much time of your life all by yourself? The problem is, though, I didn't realize this because I didn't necessarily feel by myself. No matter what I'm doing while staying at home, my social media is always on, all of it. Facebook is online all the time, my art platforms are always open, Reddit's always being checked, YouTube is always running more or less like a TV for me. I'm basically catastrophically entangled in social media all the time. And so, because of this, how could I ever actually feel alone? How could I realize that online sociability is not at all actual sociability? Internet contact is not human contact. And it's not even like I was chatting with anyone in the first place. I, I fucking hate chatting. I haven't been doing much of it for like a very long time. I'm just online on the fucking website and I'm seeing other people also being online. And somehow this is enough for my brain to feel like it's out there with people. Which is fucking insane. I'm in my stupid apartment, closed off in a box, 24 hours a day, and all because fucking social media replaced in my brain the concept of community with the deception of online profiles on a fucking website. And so yesterday I got annoyed by not being able to properly focus on my book because the open social media tabs on my computer just kept sending me notifications about crap. And I suddenly got up and turned off the computer in rage, which by the way, my computer is never ever turned off. And so I turn it off totally and get back to my book and while reading, slowly, gradually, I start feeling this slight tickling sense of being all alone. The silence, the lack of any presence whatsoever of others around you. And for some reason it terrified me. I felt the silence creeping me out and the tiny room just closing in around me making it difficult for me to breathe. I suddenly started feeling like I was buried alive in a coffin 
And then, guess what I felt? I, me, the hermit, the self-proclaimed Diogenes, suddenly felt a horrible need to go out and be with people. To see them just walking around and existing, being alive to make me feel like I was among others and not alone. I cannot remember the last time I had ever felt that. Not even during the pandemic lockdowns, because during that time, while still spending 24 hours a day at home, I was on all of my social media platforms and it never bothered me. And I realized how social media has destroyed my life. And not just mine, but everyone else's. Social media is a tool which lulls you into a false sense of community. Like you're connected and together all the time, while actually you're all alone, isolated and separated. And I'm not saying it's like a grand conspiracy done by corporations and politicians to divide and conquer the masses. I really hate this stupid kind of paranoid conspiratorial thinking. But even if it wasn't intentional, this is still what is actually happening. Isolating people in this manner is a genius instrument for manipulation. Because those in power would much prefer people to be bitching in online comment sections rather than forming picket lines. I used to think of myself as such a smart ass. And yet look at me. Realizing at 31 that I've been duped for the entirety of my teens and my 20s and to such a point that I've never even voted in my life. This is the level to which social media has pacified me. And not only pacified me, but duped me into thinking I was special for it. For not needing to go out and be with people, making me look down on people and think I wasn't one of them. I feel... I feel fucking cheated of my youth and of my humanity. And isn't that ironic? They call it social media, and it's actually a tool that is designed to isolate you from others.